I would describe our country's good as a history play, and I'm particularly interested in plays that restore to us bits of missing history. The first governor of Australia, Governor Phillip, is by 18th century standards a radical, and by our standards a liberal. And he promotes and encourages the idea of the convicts putting on a play. My name is Simon Darwin. I'm playing Governor Arthur Phillip. He very much believes that in what he's doing. He believes that hanging convicts for entertainment is, uh, is outrageous and that if we can actually find the good things in people, that the convicts can learn through what they're doing and they can become better people as well as you know, acting in this play and that everybody will benefit from that. A few of the more difficult convicts and some of the soldiers, he enables them to to really find something in themselves. I think a lot of the convicts in this play have never had anybody ever believe in them until Arthur Phillip comes along. Ralph Clark is the young second lieutenant who's put in charge of the play. And he's an interesting but faulty central character. He's timid, scared of women, resents being with the convicts. And so the play and the rehearsal process is a learning curve for him, just as it is for the convicts themselves. I'm Nathan Asmoiba and I play Lieutenant Ralph Clark and uh, he's doing a play with a beautiful leading lady and so uh, he uses the play as a, um, a tool, really, as a tool yeah. to bring them together. So my name is Jessica Tomczak and I play Mary Brenham. She's not really like the other convicts in that she wasn't born into a life of crime. She's asked to do this play within the play because she can read and um, is asked to play the lead, Sylvia. And then through playing Sylvia, she starts to grow in confidence and then gradually kind of almost sort of begins to morph into the character that she's playing. I'm Catherine O'Reilly, I play Liz Morden and she is a victim of circumstance. She comes from a broken home, she's been abandoned by her mother, she's been betrayed by her father. When she comes here and she does the play, and there's a rapport between her and Ralph Clark and she's enjoying herself. That's really important because no one's ever given her a voice before or listened to her before. I think this piece appeals universally. I think it's very accessible. It's about people coming together and working towards something, you know, for the greater good, like the play, you know, they come to take it really seriously and because it means something, they've invested something in it and it's changing them. It's just a really important play that highlights the power of theatre to change people's lives. What I discovered above all is that the play is resilient, funny, and that what it's saying is as appropriate now as it was 25 years ago.